Good morning everyone and welcome back to a brand new vlog. It is Friday the 7th of January today. I have been back at work, well not quite a full week because I didn't go back till Tuesday but nearly a full week and it is good to be back. I have to say I have thoroughly enjoyed being back and being back in a routine and I've got some really big goals that I want to reach this year so I'm really looking forward to working towards those as well. Now the plan of action today I'm just sitting outside the hall that I teach at because I have got uh, a class this morning and then a couple of one-to-one -one clients to see as well this morning and then I will be heading home so I should be home by about half past one two o'clock ish which will be quite nice so a little bit of a half day today which is quite pleasant I have got an Amazon dress haul to unbox and try on with you I am really excited about this actually I've got three dresses all of them are under 32 pounds or under and I think that they're going to be really lovely so I'm really looking forward to trying those on and there's one dress in particular that I'm really excited about and I'm thinking well I've got at least three different ways in my head that I want to style it up so you know one dress three different outfits so I'm very much looking forward to doing that with you later on I also have my dress that I ordered from Temperley London so um, a little bit more of a expensive dress but it was in the sales so that made me very happy so I've got that to unbox with you as well today and yeah we've got a gusto order arriving today as well so we've got is it four meals I think that we've ordered yes it's going to cover us for Friday Saturday Sunday and Monday so four meals I am going to be cooking <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just find this really funny. I am going to be cooking this evening's meal, I think, on my own. But it looks as though it's the easiest of the four. I think it says it's only sort of 10, 15 minutes to do it. So hopefully... I won't burn the house down and I will manage it. I'm sure I will. It will be absolutely fine, guys, I'm sure. But uh, I will obviously bring you along for that as well. So really nice day planned. And yeah, just looking forward to vlogging and chatting to you guys as well. And yeah, just very, very happy right now. Very excited for the day. Hello guys, it is a few hours since I last spoke to you. I've been home for a little bit, I've had some lunch. I watched an episode of Pretty Little Lies, which I've just started watching on Netflix. I can't believe I've waited this long to watch it. It's so good, I'm a tad addicted. Um, and now I'm ready to unbox my pieces with you. I am super excited. I'm gonna start with the Amazon bits, and then I have got one dress from Temperley London to show you as well. So. Let's just get straight into it, shall we? Just a bit of packaging there. So, dress number one. And I think this is the dress that I am most excited about, actually. Um, let me just get into it. So, it is a little velvet number. Oh, that is really sweet, actually. And the great thing about velvet is it doesn't crease. So, if I have a top tip for you guys, it is to steam anything before you try it on. Sorry, my battery died. I don't know what's going on. It just keeps cutting out on me, but uh, hopefully we're back in business now. Anyway, as I was saying, dress number one is a beautiful velvet number. It's in this kind of whiny sort of Merlot sort of coloring. It's gorgeous. It's a lovely little fit and flare dress and I just think it's going to be so flattering and so lovely on it's just got some little three little strap details there I can't get hold of it there we go so little strap detailing there which will just be lovely I think so I think you can wear this so many different ways I'm going to do a few different ways when I try on with you in a moment but I'm thinking initially I want to wear a white shirt underneath it I think that will look really cool and then maybe my biker boots I quite like that idea um I think a black roll neck black tights black boots would also look great and of course you can always just wear it as it is and go with a pair of heels and go for a nice dressy number as well so yeah I think that's going to be lovely but I will uh, try it on with you in a moment okay guys so this is dress number one now I've popped it on with a puff sleeve Karen Millen shirt that I've had for years and just this little um, bow on the um, neckline as well there and then I've just popped 
the dress on over the top. I've got my biker boots on as well. And I just love this look. It feels really preppy, really school girly. I just, I really, really love it. The only thing with this dress though, guys, is actually I've hooked it up with my belt because actually, let me pull it back down. It is this length. And I actually just don't think that's a particularly flattering length on me, definitely. So I do just want it a little bit shorter, which is why I've just hooked it up a little bit. But I do think that I would actually pay to have it taken up. It really wouldn't cost an awful lot and it just makes the dress look so much lovelier. And I just love this as a look. I just think it's so cute, very, very girly, very, very sweet. And yeah, I love this one so I think I'm definitely going to be keeping this oh I love it I'll leave everything linked down below in the description box guys so if you do want to pick it up then do follow the link and treat yourselves oh it's gorgeous really lovely yeah I'm very happy with this okay guys so I just popped it on probably how it was more designed to be worn so more of a dressy style you can see the beautiful straps detailing here i'm sorry if you can see my bra strap i couldn't be bothered to take it off and change it but yes yeah, so i popped some heels on with it and my chanel bag and i just again this is a really beautiful and just classic look you cannot go wrong with with velvet i just i love it it's so classic it's so beautiful and it's just so easy pop on a nice bag a nice pair of shoes and you are ready to go out and it's just yeah it's floaty it's gorgeous you can eat a good amount in it, a nice big meal, and not feel fat, and not feel restricted. It's a winner. I really like it like this. So I'm just going to try it on one more way. I'm going to pop on um, a roll neck with it, a black roll neck, and my black uh, knee-high boots, and see how that looks as look number three. Okay, guys, and we have look number three. So I've popped my black Topshop roll neck on, the dress, my little deal skinny belt, bag, black tights and black boots and again really chic, really really stylish. Do you know what I want to add into this? Oh, hold on, hold on. A black beret. Oh, how cute is this as a little outfit? Oh, I, yeah, I love it. I absolutely love it. So one dress, three outfits. Perfection, right? I love it. So cute. Mm. Right, dress number two is a similar colour actually. Again, it is that Merlot colouring. Again, just ooh, getting into the packaging. And this is a jumper dress. I'm quite excited about this. I think it's going to be one of those dresses that you can just kind of throw on and be really comfortable in. So it's a roll neck. I do love myself a roll neck and it is just a really lovely fit and flare dress. So I'm thinking with a pair of black tights, black boots, black bag, sorted, easy, ready to go. But it's got a really nice kind of cable print, printer, cable texture to it, which is very, very nice. I think that is going to look gorgeous. Maybe with a nice statement necklace, maybe my um, pearl necklace that I'm wearing now, that would look quite nice with it as well. So yeah, perfect little mini dress length too, not too short, hopefully. And yeah, I think that's going to look really, really nice. Okay, this is the jumper dress on. I've just popped black tights on and my boots. And again, it's just so classic, so easy and just so cute i really really like this as a look i'm sorry about the lighting in here guys it's getting dark outside it's only 20 to 4 and it's already getting dark so apologies for that but i hope you can see it enough yeah i love this one classic chic easy can't go wrong beautiful beautiful little number and it feels so soft on your skin guys it really really does not itchy in the slightest just nice and cozy and perfect for this time of year right my third and final amazon number is another jump dress now this one is in black comes with a tie waist belt 
and it is again it's kind of got that cable knit to it as well really nice puff sleeve there I think that will look really lovely and this one is a little bit more of a midi length again a nice fit and flare I do just find that is the most flattering type of dress so hopefully that will look lovely as well. I think that's gonna be a really nice look number actually. Again, I'm thinking probably black boots, black bag, sorted. Nice and easy and just lovely, really stylish pieces that you can just throw on and be ready to go. I love that an awful lot. So let's get this one tried on. Okay, so this is the final Amazon number. It is a black midi length jumper dress. It's very sweet. I really, really love the puff sleeves on it. I think that's gorgeous. Really lovely bow here. I'm not sure if you can see it with the lighting, but really nice bow. And very, very sweet. Very pretty. I Yeah, I like this an awful lot. The only thing with this one is the fabric is itching me already so I think if you were to wear it maybe pop a body or a vest underneath and then you'd be good to go but it's very very sweet I'd be more than willing to wear a vest to be able to wear this dress because it is just very lovely very sweet again easy to throw on I feel like this is the theme of today just pop it on and off you go you know it's just nice easy chic and really really lovely and last but by no means least is my Temperley London dress. Oh lovely, so you get a nice little receipt there as well. Really beautiful packaging actually, that's really really pretty. And let's get the dress. So this dress is going to be more of a spring summer dress. Um, the colour I think is just divine actually. Oh that's beautiful, okay. So here we are, it's in kind of like a powder blue colour. I think it's coming up a little bit more greeny on camera, but it's a really beautiful powder blue. Um, you've got the detailing in the fabric there, which is just really, really lovely. Beautiful high neck, and it's got a slip in there as well. Again, big puff sleeves, and you've got a little bit of a tie in a bit there just to cinch in at the wrist. And again, a really nice fit and flare fabric. Yeah, I'm looking forward to trying this one on as well. Oh, so many beautiful dresses. Okay, and final try on of the day is my Temperley London dress. I've just styled it up with, this is actually my dad's old belt. Um, a couple of Christmases ago, we went over, I think it was last Christmas, and I forgot to bring a waist belt with me, and uh, my dad just gave me this old belt that's falling apart, and I just popped it on my dress like this, and I loved it. And now it seems to be like my thing. I really like to wear, and I, and I love it that it's my dad's, you know? I think it's very cute. So I've just popped that belt on, I've got my Chanel bag, and I have got my biker boots on. I'm not sure if you can see them there as well. But um, yeah, I love this look. The sleeves on this dress, are glorious so so beautiful and it's light it's airy as soon as spring comes the first day of spring this is my outfit guys I'm rocking it I'm rocking it and I'm loving it oh. yeah okay well I might as well take the tags out because this one's most certainly a keeper um I love them all really what do you guys think let me know in the comment box down below what, what ones you think I should return what ones you think I should keep this one I'm keeping so there's no point in even saying that but uh but yeah let me know about the Amazon pieces I really really liked the little velvet number that was probably my favorite out of the three but I really like them all actually so as I said, I will leave them all linked down below. Let me know what you think in the comment box. If you actually pick any up yourself, let me know as well. I'd love to hear. And uh, yeah, I'm going to get myself sorted out. I'm going to clean up this mess because behind the camera, it's a tip. It always is when I do try and clip. So I'm going to clean up this mess and get on with the rest of the day. As always, just showing you this week's Freddy's Flowers delivery. Looking just beautiful those colors are glorious yeah just a really beautiful splash of color good afternoon everyone and welcome back it is now the next day i'm sorry i didn't end up vlogging for the rest of the day yesterday or oh, betty's just coming to join us um my neck was playing up a little bit yesterday afternoon i had a really bad headache and i just wasn't 
wasn't feeling it. Hello, bubble. Um, so, but I'm feeling much, much better today. Now, I've still got my work stuff on. We're gonna head over to Godalming, because I worked, I worked a couple of hours this morning, and we're now gonna head over to Godalming. We went there a few weeks ago on a Sunday, and I did bring you guys with us, but a lot of the shops were closed because it was a Sunday. So we're gonna head over today and hopefully go into some of those shops that were closed, which should be open now. The weather is atrocious guys it is pouring out there hence why i'm not getting changed i'm just gonna go as i am probably put a hat on to protect my hair a little bit and just yeah just go for it wellies i think are gonna come on and yeah that will be that but i'm hoping to pick up some nice bits from a couple of the interior shops there today we are also going to do another gusto um this evening so the one that we cooked last night was um it was king prawns with uh noodles in like a sesame seed oil type sauce it was very very lovely i'll pop a picture up of, of it on screen now it was really tasty quite spicy but quite nice we we like a little bit of spice and tonight is going to be chicken in ciabattas with roast potatoes and things so that should be quite tasty as well so i will show you that too but yeah, we're just gonna head over to Godalming now. Hmm. We've just got here, guys. The weather is slightly improved. It's not it's raining quite as hard. So yeah, looking forward to this. Look at my little head in my hat. <laughs> Jamie has got his scarf mask on, ready to hit the shops. You look like you're about to rob somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Such gorgeous cobbled streets. This is such a good shop. This is one of my absolute favorites. I love it. No, yeah, I've got more Oh, that's gorgeous. No, this sort doesn't give the option. Get out! Get out! Are you gonna stay in here with mine? <laughs> so guys, we've just got back. Uh, Jamie wants to book a trip to Vegas. So uh, he's getting very excited. We are possibly looking at maybe going in March. I don't know, we will see. But uh, yeah, he's obviously getting very excited about it. Now I just popped you down to show you what I picked up from Godalming. So a couple of things are birthday presents for one of my friends. Um, one of them is in this, uh, they wrapped it beautifully in tissue paper so I'm not going to undo it but it is my, um, the same journal as I bought from Godalming a few weeks ago so my little Beauty and the Beast journal so I'll leave the video up on screen if you want to check that out but I don't want to undo it so I got that for her. I also got her a Neom candle. The scent is perfect perfect night's sleep and it's an intensive skin treatment candle as well so you light the candle for 30 minutes and then afterwards you blow the candle out leave it to cool for two minutes and you can then drizzle the warm wax or oil over any part of your body to give it a bit of a nourishing intensive treatment how lovely is that i actually think that i'm gonna have to go back and buy myself one of these because i think this is just such a treat and just a lovely little birthday gift so i think that with the journal is going to be really nice i'm hoping she's going to really like it so those bits i got for her i did buy myself another journal now i nearly picked this up last time we were in this shop honestly this shop is amazing if there is an instagram to it i will leave it uh, down below in the description box because the bits in this shop are stunning and i nearly picked this one um this journal up over the beauty and the beast one but i just preferred the beauty and the beast it was just so beautiful um but this is a really nice tweed journal and i thought this is just going to look gorgeous in the office i think just on the desk in the office this is going to look just beautiful it really really goes with the interiors of that room and this was in the sale so it was originally 20 pounds i think and it was down to 10 pounds so it's perfect and it's lined pages inside 
which is quite nice whereas the beauty and the beast one is plain pages not that that makes too much of a difference but uh yeah i thought that would look quite nice and also from the same store i picked up the most beautiful wreath to go on my dressing room door because you know i had the um the winterberry wreath on there for christmas which was lovely but um, i needed another one to replace it now that it is no longer christmas so they popped it in beautiful tissue paper just to keep it nice and safe so i'm going to take that out oh it's so pretty okay and here it is guys so it's got the kind of wire um, detail there which is uncovered and then it's covered in beautiful 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 pale pink pastel pink um, dried flowers with this beautiful um, velvet ribbon which is almost iridescent it's almost shines different colors it's just gorgeous and I think that is going to be perfect for on my dressing room door. I think I'm gonna try and hook it from this angle so it just hangs beautifully around. But how stunning is that? And the lady in the store makes all of these by hand, these wreaths. They're beautiful, she had so many different ones there. Um, so I'm sure, again, I'll leave her Instagram de uh, details in the description box, because I'm pretty sure that she'll, be, um, she'll make bespoke ones as well. Well, I'm sure, because she said in the store that she did. So yeah, as a, another option, it's just beautiful. And I'm pretty sure she'll post them out to people as well. I think she probably will anyway, so. Anyway, that's what we picked up today. So a very successful little shopping trip to Godalming. We went into a few of the stores that were closed on the Sunday that we went previously. This shop was open because obviously I've got my Beauty and the Beast journal and I have got everything purchase oh other than the neon candle that was from a different shop but all of the other bits are from the same store so yeah got betty boo just having a little chill out behind me you can see a little bum there and um i think we're gonna just have a little relax now have a coffee i want to light my candle downstairs yeah and then we will be making our gusto meal in a well probably not too long actually probably about half an hour time so i will show you how we get on with that as well but yeah been a very nice saturday so far we're going to watch the new james bond film tonight because we are so late to the game and we haven't watched it yet so hopefully that will be good it's so long and that that worries me a little bit. I'm not really someone that can sit for long periods of time, but we're at home so we can pause it, get up, move around, which is good. So hopefully that will be good fun as well. Oh, I'm gonna pop my wreath on my door now. And there she is on the door. Beautiful, truly stunning. Oh, I love it. Betty is snorting down there if you can hear her. Yeah, I dropped the wreath on the floor, so there's little bits of dried flour, which I think she's now trying to eat. Stop! No, don't do that. No, no. No, no, don't eat those. Don't eat those. It is a gusto time, guys. I'm so excited. Are you hungry? Yeah. Yeah, so hungry. Uh, so, this is tonight's menu. We've got chicken ciabatta, uh, potatoes, and a little bit of lettuce there as well. <laughs> Jamie just sliding the menu across and back we've got all the ingredients out so i'll show you in a moment but yeah we are already at target cooking right two chia batters garlic clove two chicken breasts gem lettuce potatoes spring onion we have got here white wine vinegar a little pod of um oregano mayonnaise and then cayenne pepper but we're actually not going to use that because i think it's going to be too hot for us so we are going to swap that out for some paprika so let's get going betty desperate for some raw potato can't give you any darling jamie has prepared the breasts and <laughs> potatoes are chopped we've just popped some salt pepper and oregano on them and ready to go okay next up preparing the garlic mayo so we're going to um, trim then slice the spring onions finely peel and chop or grate I think we're gonna grate uh, the garlic add the sliced spring onion to a small bowl with mayo garlic 
and white wine vinegar, salt, pepper, and a drizzle of olive oil to create the garlic mayo. So, all right. Give it a go. It's supposed to be a little bit watery in consistency. It's in the picture, it's but it is. Oh yeah, it's runny in the picture. Okay. 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 Perfect. They are good, aren't they? Big, nice and big. And voila! Doesn't look too bad, does it? Better than the picture, I reckon. I reckon so. Hello guys, we're just about to go to bed now, but I just thought I would finish out the video. We watched James Bond. It was so good, actually. It was my favourite one to date. The ending was a little bit of a shock. I'm not going to say what it is, just in case some of you haven't watched it yet. But it, yeah, it's so good. It's made me need an Aston Martin at some point in my life. It's also made me need to buy a Jenny Packham dress at some point in my life. Gorgeous. So yeah, it was really good. Uh, normally I get very fidgety through films like that and I can't really sit still for that long, but it really held my attention. I fully expected to be on my phone scrolling through Instagram and just kind of, yeah, kind of wasting a bit of time whilst it was on, but I didn't. My, my eyes were glued. It was really, really good. And dinner oh, was so tasty. It was perfection. It was so nice. Definitely get that meal again from Gusto. Well, actually, we've got the recipe card now, so we can just buy the ingredients and do it ourselves. It was so tasty. Really, really nice. So, anyway, I'm going to take my makeup off and we're going to head to bed now. So, I will catch you guys in Wednesday's video. Um, I'm going to be unboxing some bits from Cowshed Interiors to do a new tablescape with because... You know, I love to do a tablescape. So it's like a winter one, but a non-Christmas winter one. So that will be in Wednesday's video. All right then, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, as always, do give the video a good old thumbs up. And I will catch you all on Wednesday. Take care.